Welcome back to ICRS 2014 in Atlanta, and I'm here with Miss Wendy Blight. How are you doing? Hi, I'm good. Thanks She's, for having me. Oh, no problem. She's written a book, Living So That. And we've got a little bit more title on it, but Living <laughs> So That. We'll get into it in just a minute. Wendy, please tell us just a little bit about yourself. Well, I live in Charlotte, North Carolina, so it wasn't a very long trip to come here. Oh, no. And just about a four-hour drive, and I live there with my husband, and I have two children and work with Proverbs 31 Ministries. Oh, Proverbs 31 Ministries. Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah. That's pretty good. So have you always been active in your church, active in your ministry, and just trying to be a blessing to people? Since I've been older, yes, but I grew up going to church sometimes every now and again with okay. my family Sunday we were, grew up Catholic so but it but once I, I went to a Baptist University and that really wakes up your faith when you're in a Baptist okay. church so <laughs> <laughs> no that's that's good and uh, you, when when you've been following the Lord uh, how long has it been since you actually put a book out I mean was something just a new book for you this first time this or? is my second book okay. my first book was published in 2000 nine I believe it's hard to even remember back then um, it's hidden joy in a dark corner and it was published by Moody publishing oh wow mm -hmm. so yeah. you, you got on the Moody quick that's yes, good yes that was really it was it was um, it's basically this a story of um, God's healing in my life after a, I had a terrible tragedy happen and so it's really the story of healing from that and then how God takes that and makes it a, a story a testimony for him hmm tell us about your title here because that's just that's an amazing title yeah I love it and it, it's called living so that but it, what it really talks about are studying the so that verses in scripture and in the New Testament those are um, for nerds like me it's a Greek clause a hyena uh -huh. clause so that and it ties a um, like a promise of scripture with um, or a truth of scripture with a practical application something that God promises based upon that truth okay so it really it's the whole point of this is teaching us how to the, the subtitle is making faith-filled choices in the midst of a messy life and we all live those lives where there's so much going on and it's just being able to have a trigger a so that verse okay and it's a trigger that meets you in the midst of whatever's going on and instead of sometimes reacting in the ungodly way you have a verse to remind yourself if i think this way if i speak this way if i act this way god will honor it because the scripture says so what made you put this book together well the, it's a funny story in the sense that i was sitting in church and our I attend Forest Hill Church in Charlotte, and our pastor was, they were having a so that campaign, in other words, asking us to live a, a so that rather than a so what life, mm -hmm. meaning make a difference and give to this campaign. We didn't study so that scriptures or anything, but those two words, so long that. after the sermon, I was like, does God really call us to a so that life? What, where, where did that come from? Did he just make it up? And um, I, one night, sat up with my Bible for almost four hours and went through the New Testament starting, you know, in the Gospels and just started circling all the so that verses and that went into dividing them into categories because this book is divided into categories. Jesus came so that, God mm -hmm. spoke so that, forgives so that. So um, that's how it came about was just really because of a, a sermon by my pastor. Mm. That's amazing. How long did it take you to put this together? Well, uh, I can't tell you how long it, it actually, because it sort of came in, in parts, but within the time, I wrote it for, I teach Bible study in Charlotte, okay. so we, I first wrote it to teach that study, so I would say it probably took me a whole summer, because I teach in the fall and the spring, so I finished the spring study, and but putting it together then when Thomas Nelson wanted to pick it up, that was um, a little bit longer process just rewriting it but it was already written hmm. so it's kind of hard to say how yeah. long exactly <laughs> yeah. so what are some of the testimonies you're getting back from from this oh wow i'm sure there's plenty of them we did this as a as proverbs 31 online bible study we took probably about 14,000 women through the book wow last april or th just a few months ago april yeah last april and getting to um, they they participated in a in conference calls and in an online blog all the way through the five weeks of the study. So I really did get to see amazing testimonies. And a lot of them involved mothers um, with their children mm. and wives with their husbands and how having a trigger verse would totally stop unkind words spewing out of their mouths or, you know, getting impatient with their children. And I... 
what, David, what's so cool is we have a memory verse mm -hmm. in every chapter. It, it Im invites you to memorize scripture. And so people were sending me, they were writing their memory verses on their microwaves, on their mirrors, on their shower doors, on chalkboards throughout their house. And their children were joining them in memorizing God's word. Mm. And that, that to me was that's not amazing. what I, I mean, that's thought what you would happen. Do. But I it mean, was so great. We can all get a paycheck. We can all sell books. We can all mm. inspire someone. But for them to learn the word of God, yeah, that's, yeah. that's amazing. Give us an example of a soul that scripture. That maybe a scripture that, that we're a popular scripture or something mm -hmm. that we may be familiar with that we don't realize it's a right. soul that. Well, the one, it's really, it's not one of the ones in the book for a memory verse, but the one that says, um, basically, don't let unkind words come out of your mouth, but speak mm -hmm. only words that encourage or edify and build others up so that it will benefit all those who listen. Mm. That's kind of, it's Ephesians 4.29, I think. And that's the one that really was on my heart as I was writing this for um, mostly wives, because I went through that with my husband sort of being that naggy controlling mm -hmm. person <laughs> wife and i'm, I'm not gonna you, say anything <laughs> yeah <laughs> I, I don't want to get anyone in trouble <laughs> but what's so powerful is i had a situation with my husband where he was irritating me in a certain way and that verse came to me and it completely changed mm. i did not speak the words that i wanted to speak and instead I let him do what he was doing, and then later, when I wasn't mad, when I wasn't irritated, then I was able to say, hey, I just cleaned all the kitchen. And it's a minor thing to some people, but you know what? It, but I had just cleaned my whole kitchen, and he <laughs> came home from lunch to make a grand sandwich and would make a big mess. And, um, and so it was, it was just so powerful to me how real and applicable God's Word is. And mm -hmm. I think a lot of women and a lot of men um, and children don't understand that it really is this living word meant to speak to us today and change us from the inside out. Mm. And when we get into it and we allow it to do that, it changes our heart, it changes our marriages, our homes, and then it goes out in the last chapter is let your light shine. And that's kind of what's important to you. Amen. You're letting your faith go out and change the world around you and the people around you. Oh, absolutely. Tell everybody how they can get your book. The book you can buy through Amazon, Barnes & Noble, but most especially Proverbs 31 Ministries. We sell it on our website there, and I always love for people to buy it. Oh, absolutely. The, the purchase there goes out to help us help other women. So, so get your copy of Living So That. Yes. So that things will be a better way for you. There will be better blessings in your life. Amen. <laughs> if yes, you, if you understand why, then you understand how <laughs> to get this thing going for you. And and this this book's going to help you get, learn the how and the why. So I appreciate you so much, Thank Wendy. You. Thank you. I appreciate you. you. I mean, you're giving me your website or whatever you want. Yeah. One more time. Um, and one more thing. This is part of a collection of books from oh, the really? inscribed okay. collection by Thomas Nelson Harper Collins. And so there's three other books out right now. Um, each of us are doing the, the Bible studies and books. So I would love for you. So that's inscribed.com or I, my website okay. is wendyblight.com, B-L-I-G-H-T. All right, inscribed.com or wendyblight.com. Mm -hmm. All right, God bless you. Thank you again Thank for being you, a part Dave, of the show. I appreciate it. We enjoyed it. you being here and helping jumping in real quick yep. with us. Yep. <laughs> we'll be back with another great guest in just a minute.